Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Let's Play Grim Fandango. So in the last episode, uh, Manny is, um, well, he's trying to find Lola, who is probably being murdered by the lawyer, but we stole the case, metal case from the lawyer guy, and he's meeting with uh, the, um, with the big boss of this joint, and I did finish exploring the place, so, um, but I have a good idea what to do. Oh, I made a circle. Well, I have a good idea about what to do around here. Oh, I'm all up here now. But yeah, hmm. Pretty much figured out about what I can do with the metal case, how to open it, that is, and, um, and stuff like that. Um, so question, where is the big boss? I'm very confused. How do I find him? Yeah, I'm very confused about where his office is. Because I know I know I know he has an office somewhere here. I'm just very, very, very confused. God dang it. Oh well, I guess I'll just leave for now, maybe. Or not. I don't know. <laughs> uh, hmm. Maybe it was upstairs and I just missed it. Okay. There's nothing here? No? Okay, I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. Got it, got it, the stupid arrow. Mm. I don't think it would be a good idea to barge into Max's office while he's meeting with Nick. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, so we found out where the office is. Good to know. Now I can leave this place and uh, start testing out my ideas. Cool, cool. Right, so I have a bunch of things. I need the metal detector for some reason. I have a pipette and I have the metal case. So let's try out the closest thing. I guess the closest one is the police lady, for which I need a metal detector. Probably for the morgue. Okay, I have an idea about what to do. So the strip search didn't work last time, however... I'm kind of curious... Oh! Oh, this is the VIP pass, my bad. I'm kind of curious what will happen if I drink the golden flaked thingy. Well, maybe just a sip. Ah. What if this is gonna work? <laughs> Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Mm. You sure you're not packing anything else? It's working. Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Rules are rules. And of course, uh, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Acres and acres of fig trees everywhere you looked. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. Or prunes. Don't you just mm, love dates. prunes? They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled never up like my grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, <laughs> Poor Grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting things. Hedwig, now that's an interesting name. I remember one time back when I was six. Or maybe I was seven. No, 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 no. I had to be six because Mr. Rufus was still alive. Probably you were seven. Now there was a good dog, Mr. Rufus. Mr. Rufus? He was such a sweet little puppy. We didn't care that he was deaf. How bad? He was as deaf as they come, but he'd still try to bark. And it would come out sounding like a cat. 
coughing up a hairball, which I our remember cat I had often a did. Voice. He had such long hair. I don't really like long-haired cats, do you, Manny? They're just so... I like short-haired cats. They seem less stuck up. No, they're harder to pick out of the grill. People think I'm stuck up sometimes, believe it or not. No, 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 they really do. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess it's because I'm so shy. I was shy all the way through high school. Yes, you seem shy. I never went to a single dance. Can you believe it? No, <laughs> don't get me wrong, the boys would ask, but I'd just run away. My mom said I could have been homecoming queen if I'd just smile once in a while. She always said, a smile is the most important part of any outfit. Well, moms are always right. Well, maybe I would have smiled more, Mom, if you hadn't drank so much. Was I supposed to smile when the cops oh. called us in the middle of the night to tell us to come get you out of the drunk tank? Maybe if I had smiled more, Daddy wouldn't have left us. We'd be together right now, you, me, Daddy, and Yikes. Grandma Hedwig. And Mr. Rufus. And I'd be wearing my homecoming queen crown and eating figs and... And... And I'd... Oh, mother! Uh, <laughs> and... I'm so sorry! <laughs> uh, now, now. <laughs> Here, let me hold that metal detector for you while you cry. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? <laughs> yeah. Yes. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you want, you can fight the cats for it. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. The only woman you care about is that Colomar dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. Manny, you don't go chasing after, like, multiple women at once. That's not right. And I'm telling you, this is a woman. <laughs> uh, well, she's now back to admiring Manny. Um, that was a nice personality change there, Carla. You wouldn't happen to have a second metal detector around here, would you? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Carla, I have this metal case if you're still willing, um, to help with... Ah, yeah, that. That one. What's that? Uh... I don't know. I don't know. I found it under your desk. Unattended? No, there was a shifty-looking guy with crazy eyes who put it there. Oh my god. Give me that! It's a bomb! Ooh! Ha-ha! <laughs> Another senseless act of terrorism nipped in the bud by security officer Carla. Wow. It was completely destroyed by our own detonator, so I can't tell what kind of bomb it was. But here's something. <gasps> Key. I better bring that to Chief Bogan. Yeah, you can analyze it with your metal detector. Shh. She's, she's so pissed off. Ay, ay, ay. She's really pissed at Manny. Good job that you walked out of there, Manny, but now I have a key. And that completely worked. So I guess it wasn't for a bomb in the video game. No, it was just to get the key. <laughs> uh, okay, plan number two. Let's go get that pipette with the knockout liquids, things like that. And I might as well, um, actually, what does the key open? Oh, uh, that's actually a good question. I actually don't know. Oh, and the metal detector, it fell down to into the cat litter. So I gotta go find it too. Ew, ew. Poor Manny. Manny, Manny, Manny. Oh, actually, I can visit the bee, actually, because he's in the jail. There he is. Hey, Terry, that was a beautiful speech out there. Yeah, maybe so, but it landed me in here. Don't worry, I'll get you the best lawyer in town. Okay, Manny, but quick, before the movement loses its buzz. Okay, 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 got it, I got it. Right, right, right. 
And by the way, that was an interesting pawn play over there. Uh, hmm. Oh, right, the pipette, pipette. Right, right. And I'll have to figure out what the heck the key was for. Okay, blue casket, here I am. She's <laughs> still knocked out. Um, yeah. Okay. Aha! Okay, where is the pipette? There you are. Now, Nangua is gonna be really surprised. Oh, does she have anything to say to me? No. Well, keep pressing. Okay, never mind. I don't want to hear anything from you anymore. <laughs> Actually, I'm glad about it. Thanks. Uh, okay, so... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Metal detector. Let's go get that. It's down this way. That way. Oh! Wait, Naranjua, Naranjua. I should probably do that first. Before I forget about him completely. Because he's so way off, like in this little fallen out place. And now I know how to distract everyone too, because I just have to open the fridge and literally get Manny's butt away from it. So that he won't get detected. Alright, he just uh, got boiled. Okay. Okay, run, run. <gasps> okay. Eh? Who is over there? Yes. Pokoba. Look, you broke it. Now it won't shut. Yes, it worked. Now wait for Naranjo to drink. Nemozogia, hold still, Matario. Dead. Ah, Kaifa, wake up. I don't work on drunks. Resek Chavargo. What kind of sailor are you? <clears throat> Can't handle booze, huh? What you the us gonna know what anger met the name folks give is at me. The deliation bolond watch. Well let's go. Toto, I got your boy Naranya here. And my eight years. Well, he sobered up. I send him to limbo. Yeah, yeah. You'll make it there by morning. Promise. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what I told him. Uh-huh. Let's see what you got on you. I say Are you kidding me? I... Semen and Selmo Naranja Ensign third I gave class. him the Doesn't idea like in you'll first be showing place. Up to work in the morning. Ah. I already searched him pretty ah, thorough. Tiger can't change his okay. stripes. Oh, hang on a second. Ah, 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 ah. Get away from that. So, you still going? <laughs> hey, Velasco! Manny, do you mind? Artist at work here, eh? You're not working, hey, you're talking. To me. Okay, fine. Uh, Naranjua is dead. <laughs> not really. Uh, we knocked him out, so that part of the job is done forever. Thank God. Mm, now it's the other part called... Uh, what was I doing? Oh, right, metal detector. And now I have a brilliant idea that I should probably put that sailor tag with a dead body, give the metal detector to the... Uh, Mortician, I guess it's the correct title, maybe. And, um, he'll pronounce, uh, Naranjua dead. Naranja dead. Well, that's the hole I saw Carlos' metal detector fall through. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, and we gotta find it now. I'm not going in there. How about you use your scythe, then? I mean, that's one part I remember about this puzzle. Aha! Ah, I got it. Hmm. 
Yes. Because of the scythe, I was able to find the detector quickly. Ah. A little stinky, but it could be worse. Right. Okay, now let's uh, execute our master plan at pronouncing Naranja dead. Right. Right. Upstairs. Okay, uh, Carla, bye-bye. Would I need to talk to you? But I do need to see the Martitian. Man, this is such a long walkway. Uh. Okay, right. This way. This way. Wait, no, 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 no. This way, this way. I'm an idiot. He was downstairs. Hi. Don't mind me. I'm gonna do something really foolish right now. Not while he's watching. Not while he's Not watching. while he's watching. Are you sure you're looking hard enough? Look, Manuel, these old eyes are tired. I'm doing the best I can, but the average retirement age beachcomber has more sophisticated equipment than I've got here. Uh-huh. Well, I just happen to have the perfect tool to help you. It's called the metal detector. Would a metal detector help the cause? Hey, just like downtown. You never know what this'll turn up. An engraved ring, a belt buckle with somebody's name on it. <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... Oh. <laughs> uh, many, many. Okay, turn around. Ah, yes. Huh. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Answer the phone. Velasco, it looks like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of... Naranja. What? How? Sprouted? But... Ah. Uh... This town's going to hell. Sailor can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. Yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. <sighs> All day long, Manny, I sought through pure sadness. I find evidence, and I piece together stories. But none of my stories end well. They all end here, and the moral of every story is the same. We may have years, we may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers. Now that sounded far more poetic than whatever crap they had at the, the other club, <laughs> the Blue Casket. Uh, okay, so... Okay, so let me cross up the Naranja thing, so... Naranja quest done. So we have a key. The only thing I can think of is the lighthouse that we've seen before, except I forgot how you reach it. Oh, no, 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 no. I remember now, the sea bees. But there was also this other thing that I do remember from my previous playthroughs. Mm, I need to go upstairs and see Gladys for it, though. And because I already visited the VIP uh, club, I just need to, um, talk to Gladys, I think, about it. I think! I, I actually don't remember. Okay, uh, Calavera Cafe... Uh, where's Gladys? Gladys, there you are! I think we need to have a little chat about that, um, fancy club with a VIP pass. Ah, yes, I, do, I can uh, say that. Ooh! Also, I that. just had a run-in with Domino and Mechi. We're leaving town. What? What? How? Domino's got Mechi. We're going after them tonight. What should I do? Just sit here until I get a boat. Sit here. Check. Okay. Okay, now this. Check out this fancy pass to the High Rollers Lounge. 
Can you believe how full of themselves they are over there? I don't think their place is any more VIP than ours, do you? I don't know. I, I try to stay away from that place. Really? Why? Because of my, my, my problem. Gladys? Compadre? Gladys! Yeah, okay, I remember that part. He runs away. I know exactly where, because he has a VIP pass. So let's go back, catch up with Gladys, and see what's up there. Or rather, what's what around there? Right, this is gonna be a very long walk, guys. I'm so sorry about that. So many. Many, many, many. I figured out that taking the elevator is probably the longest route all, all the way to the casino. So I'm gonna take this way instead. Ooh. Manny, you look so tiny from up here. It's... wow. Interesting perspective, though. Uh, hi there. Okay, go downstairs. And there's the VIP lounge. What's that? Ah, there you are. Ooh, the waiter is gonna come down. This is it! Where is he? That's the sugar papa light! Where is the waiter? Hmm, weird. What's that? Go, kitty! Oh, if I had only known. Oh no, he's an alcoholic, isn't he? Yeah! I had no idea you like gambling so much, Gladys. Well, the doctors made me promise I wouldn't do it anymore. Oh, but I can't get in the high rollers loud, Doc Gabby! Oh, for crying out loud! Pause Coming the home air. soon? Let's I'm visualizing. You sound drunk too, Gladys. Buzz, 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 buzz. Yeah, oh, jeez. Oh no, I saw the waiter. Waiter, come back. Pause in the air God right dang it, now. he keeps saluting me. I don't think it would be a good oh, idea no, no, no. to barge into Max's office while he's oh, meeting there with Nick. Oh, there he is. Oh, no, no. Oh, You're doing it. That guy's annoying. God dang it, I'm trying to catch the waiter. Go, okay, go, I guess not. Go. I guess it's not meant to be. <sighs> Looks like the pantry. Not picking that up. So, anything for me to do? Okay, so, hmm, oh, I'm very confused. I brought Gladys in here. Something to do with a pantry. Maybe the waiter is supposed to come down here and I'm supposed to lock him up? I mean, I do have a scythe to lock him in there. I don't know. Oh! You're new. Now that guy really needs his beauty rest. Uh, yeah, he does. Wake up, Izzy! Hey! I'm trying to get some sleep over here. Going down? Probably. Later. Maybe you could take me down now? Oh, yeah. I could take you down, but I can't eat customers anymore. Uh, that's not what I meant. I meant down the elevator. No, down in the elevator. I want to go down in the elevator. That's true. They wouldn't see me hit you in there, but I still get in trouble. <laughs> oh. Why can't you hit customers anymore? Exactly. It makes no sense. Sorry about my friend. I'll get him out of here if you want. Who, Gladys? He's all right. 
He's just got to pace himself. I can barely get any sleep between changing casks for him. Ah, casks. You mean wine casks, don't you? Like the big barrel I've seen over there? Hey, let's beat up that waiter. Not a bad idea. But he's new. Give him a break. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just open the elevator door. Then they really see us fighting. I don't want to fight. I just want to use the elevator. Chicken. <laughs> How about a bribe? Look at me. What can you give to a guy who has everything? Uh, hmm. I don't know. Sorry. Don't mind me. Just passing through. To where? The elevator. Doubt it. Can't I go down to the cellar? It's a wine cellar. Wine goes down there. Okay. Nighty night. <sighs> wine goes down there, you say? Maybe I can do something about this wine barrel? I got a hunch the wine comes out here. What are you doing? I wanted some wine. Oh, look at what a mess you have made. Get out of here! Hey, what about my vino? It's not self-serve. You'll just have to wait until I get around to it. Run! Hmm. Okay. What if I bust it with the scythe? Yeah, yeah, let's try that. I don't want to mess up my blade. No, you, sh you have to bust it up with a scythe. Ooh. It's running there ragged. Oh, but monsieur, je suis très désolé. <laughs> there are no guests allowed in the kitchen. I must ask you to leave. In a minute, Leroy. Raoul. <laughs> this is my sight. Oh, <laughs> monsieur. <laughs> Merci. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna lock you in there. Finally. Justice. Yes, 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 yes. Lock him in there. Oh, brilliant. What a good timing. Hello? Hello out there? Yes. Could somebody please open the door? <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I seem to have uh, locked myself in this teeny tiny room. I am actually very close to a phobic, so if somebody, uh, s'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît, oh, let me out of here immediately. Oh, oh, oh. You got it. Hey, I'm thirsty. Where's that waiter? Ah. That does it. You're gonna drink the barrel, oh my god. And let me guess, I'm gonna sneak in there. Mmm, mm, mm. fruity, but voluminous. Wow, you just, you literally just drank the whole barrel, huh? And let me guess, I can now interact with it there's no opening up here ah that's why i have the can uh opener isn't it yes yes my plan is coming to fruition <laughs> okay that was terrible forget you ever heard it guys that was terrible okay now go in there well Somebody's sleeping on the job. Yes. Ah, it's empty. Ah. Ruben, where are you? Oh, that's my scythe, right? Ah! <gasps> 
Mon dieu! Take a little nap, a vous, eh? Well, le keg is le empty, so tout de suite, Buster. Yes, monsieur. Merci, anything you say. Eto, no wine! Oh, I'm going to foul him for ignoring my pleas, and then I believe I shall quit. Oh, I can never look at that pantry again. No man should ever be locked up in such a small, dark place. Aww, I kind of feel bad for him, but um, he was kind of being rude, though, on the other hand. Cool, cool. Now I'm here. Good job. So what do I do now? Um, Manny? Ugh. Never want to go near another one of those. Okay. Why? Well, I bet that thing's really easy to control if you're a big demon. Well, let's try it anyway. Oh. Okay, got it. Uh, I remember this one is about timing. Just one button on the controls. What level was it? <gasps> no, 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 no. Ah, I think I missed it. I missed it! No! Okay. Yes, I missed it. Okay, we gotta... There was that wide, um, doorless opening. We gotta go there. So let me get the machine turned around. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Okay, sit in there. You had to go and sit it sit on it from that side, don't you? Cool, cool. Right. Now prepare, please, Manny. Okay. Right. it now we can sort of jam it up this way yes pull the lever good now we can get in there yes okay good I remember something at least ah there's the suitcase Dios mio, it's full of double-end tickets. This could get a hundred souls on the number nine train. Something's not right about this. I get the feeling this suitcase belongs to someone more important than Chowchilla Charlie. Isn't this the suitcase from the uh, pamphlet, you know, at the police jail? I swear it mentioned a certain suitcase. Oh. All right, Manny. Give me the case. Charles, I thought we had a bargain. No, we do. But I thought I'd bring some muscle along just in case. What's the matter, Chuck? Can't afford to hire goons to do this sort of work for you? I'm all the goon I need. Now drop it. You said it, boss. Got a card for me? Here. Welcome to the union, Manny. Meetings first Tuesday of every month, and uh, don't forget to pay your dues. <laughs> Uh, well, at least you Don't upheld... Don't forget to pay my dues. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least you upheld your part of the bargain. Okay, so, union card check. Uh, now the only thing we need is to get a lawyer. Uh, the hardest part of the of this thing, I think. The lawyer, right, because it was this puzzle I hate the most. 
I don't even remember how it goes specifically. Uh, right, so, um, uh, hmm. I wonder. If I go back there... Yeah! Okay, Gladys is still up there. Yeah! I guess, um... No, 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 not what I wanted. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I guess probably it. Nick is still with the me in meeting with the boss. So I guess I should check out the key theory. You know, the one about the lighthouse. So for that, I need to go downstairs. To the left. Uh, this way. And find the bees. Right. This way. I believe they were... Yeah, they were here. Okay, there's the lighthouse. So let's go check it out. So the only thing I need are, are the tools. Which is a good thing. Right, so... There it is. Ah, it fit! Um... Lola? Careful, Manny. You may not want to see me like this. Lola! Did Nick do this to you? Yeah, he wanted that picture real bad. But he's never gonna find it, that fink. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny, would I have had a chance? Never mind. You just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men, or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. Lola! Lola! Oh, Lola. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it. And it says number 22, Lengua. Picture of a tongue. That doesn't have anything to do with the new code system, does it? Let's check it out then. Lingua, lingua. Yeah, I think that might be related to the code system. I mean, I assume she probably like hands out cards or some kind of other items. Whenever you check in for a coat or something. I don't know, that's just a guess. Might as well check it. Okay, lingua, lingua. Also, it looks and sounds just as weird as, um, I guess Lupe's, uh, personality <laughs> a little bit. So maybe that's what it was. Right. Hey, Lupe, I've got a lengua something. Something? Is that it? I'm a union man now. Oh, that's your union card. Never mind. I still have the pipette. Okay. Ah, lengua. Hey, this is a card for my new coat check system. You do care. Can I have my coat, please? You bet. This is so exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. 22. 22. 22. Lengua. 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 Ha! Here it is. Oh, darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, no. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh... I I'll tell you tomorrow. Ah. Uh, is there anything in the coat? There's a little slip of paper in one of the pockets. Aha! Uh -huh. 
paper. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Wait, let me write that down. So, number 36, rusty anchor? Rusty anchor, rusty anchor. You know what? Mm. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? It could be related to the bidding stubs, right? Ah, That's actually probably- Oh, wait, it does! I remember now. This is the part where you're supposed to get the correct bidding stub. And I don't remember how exactly this hint is supposed to help. Unless it's related to the big stuffed cat, which I should probably look up right now, before we end the episode. And then I'll mew over- or I'll mull over. Actually, I don't know how you say it in English properly. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll move over the problem. See what, what works or what doesn't. So, aha, this way. No, 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 Manny, Manny, stop it. It's not what I wanted you to do. Okay. So this way. Aha. To the cats. Ah, there he is. Beloved Sanspoof, this regal and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia won on its maiden voyage crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sanspoof was in the lead. Okay, that is completely not related to number 36, Rusty Anchor. Ah, oh, hmm. Maybe I should talk, actually talk to one of the betting stops, guys? Or wait, no, 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 no. Actually, yeah, maybe I should. Hello? Oh, hi! Betting stop, please. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stop. Oh, okay, bye! Uh, bye, wait! Ah. Hmm, Rusty Inker. Ah. Rusty Inker. Let's check out the machine, Me I guess. Me and this ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. They have... an... Hmm. Oh, wait, no! No, 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 that's not what I wanted. I wanted to look at the machine more, not to actually print a ticket. Uh, where, where, there. Ah, okay, good. Throw away the old ticket, let's see. Okay, so we have day of the week, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, Monday through Sunday. Number of something and another number. Ooh. That's complicating, huh? What could it be? Uh, this is too much of a headache. You know what? I'll think it over uh, and we'll figure it We'll figure it out in the next episode. So thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!